Creating the forearm piece is pretty straightforward. Just print out the pattern sheets labeled forearm layer one, forearm layer two, forearm layer three and four. Cut your pattern pieces out. You'll have your layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four. And the pieces go together pretty easily. You glue your layer two on top of layer one, your layer three on top of layer two, and then your layer four on top of layer three. One thing I would recommend when gluing in the straps for the front here is I would glue them in right here after you've put layers one and two together and then glue layer three over that. The back straps are pretty straightforward. You just glue them on the back side. You may also want to consider gluing in strips of foam on the inside here to help keep the forearm piece straighter. And as for the straps, it's pretty straightforward. I just used Velcro so I can adjust them to whatever size I want. For this whole project, I just used Valspar Project Perfect Paint and Primer. They're uh, flat black. Usually I would use some sort of primer before painting something, but since this has a built-in primer, I didn't have to worry about that. And as with most applications, I did a few light coats instead of doing heavy coats. Now you don't have to use this brand when doing your project. Probably pretty much any flat black spray paint that you come across will work fine. When in doubt, test it on some sample pieces before actually spraying it on your finished pieces. For finishing the assembly of the suit, it's pretty straightforward. On the side here, I added Velcro, and I also cut out straps of fabric and then added the other side of the Velcro on the back here. So it's quick to attach and also to adjust using the Velcro. I did something similar with the shoulder straps at the top here. It's just glued on Velcro on the inside and right here, so it's easy to adjust. And I did the same thing on the back side. So once I had the shoulder straps on and I had them fitting where I wanted it to be, that's when I made note of where I wanted the shoulder piece to sit. Then I took about one inch by one inch square pieces of foam and I glued it on the top on the inside here of the shoulder strap and then glued the shoulder piece on top of that. So it gives it a little bit of flex and movement. So just to be clear, I would strongly recommend attaching your shoulder straps to the front and the back along with the side straps here like this before figuring out where you're going to put your shoulder pieces. With all this additional assembly, I just glued the Velcro into place and I did the same thing with the straps in the back. Thanks for checking out this video. If you'd like to learn more about using foam for costumes and props, click on one of the videos on the right. If you'd like to pick up some patterns to make your own foam armor, click the image on the left.